we are increasingly being asked by our customers which should we use the buy and roll property which is a contact property inside a hubspot or association labels it's a very valid question because it's a little bit confusing at the moment so what we'll do is we'll explain why it's confusing what they are and when you should use them when mapping out big deals and big companies inside a hubspot Let's start with the buy and roll property. So this is a contact property which sits on the contact. And as you can see, you can label a contact up with many different roles, decision maker, champion, blocker, uh, etc. And this came out in 2020 when HubSpot brought out the target accounts functionality. So the buy and roll field works really nicely with the target accounts functionality giving you different filters for when you don't have any decision makers and when you've got blockers within those companies. Within Orgjot Hub, we have built a two-way sync with the buy and roll property. So as you can see here, we can change Karen from no longer being a blocker for our company. She's now a champion of the business and that will sync back into HubSpot. Association labels are a more recent bit of functionality that came out of beta in 2022. They are a way to set a custom association between two objects. There are two main types of association. You've got the primary association, which is what HubSpot sets. So for example, a contact associated to a company, a contact associated to a deal would be a primary association, which is a default association made by HubSpot. In this example, we've clicked into the deal that Karen is associated to. And you can see there is a custom association label here that says decision maker. This is what it looks like inside of HubSpot. And this is also where some of the confusion comes about because you're probably now thinking, well, buying role, that also had a property called decision maker. And you'd be correct because when you create an association label between a contact and a deal, decision maker is given as the example, which in essence is the same as the buying roles. But bear with me, there is a difference. And actually this HubSpot community post uh, sums it up pretty well. So the buying role is on a contact and a contact can only have one set of buying roles. This is where the buying role falls down because if you're working multiple deals across a large business, you might have the same contact playing different roles on different deals. As you can see on this community post, the HubSpot product team acknowledge this and they point to association labels being the solution. And what's really promising is within this post, you can see that it's their intention to integrate association labels with the target accounts functionality, which would complete the loop. Naturally, with this in mind, as we are long-term HubSpot customers and long-term HubSpot certified app partners, we want to work with the association labels and we have a twist. We've got a visual interaction which will hopefully help more HubSpot customers. Here is a quick sneak peek on what we are about to bring out. What you're looking at here is a new part of Orgchart Hub called deal mapping. In here, you can use the association labels and make the connections between the contacts and the deal swiftly and easily. It's a two-way sync with HubSpot, which allows you to keep your HubSpot account updated whilst getting a complete visual on all your key stakeholders. And there will be much more as the functionality rolls out. Hopefully this video gave you a better perspective on buying roles and association labels. If you've got any questions at all, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. Hopefully, as you can tell, we're staying on top of this and making sure we help as many HubSpot customers as possible in this area. Thank you very much.